Joe Clean, Southern Hospitality, February 16, 1990, 234. The Hyatt's minibus returned to the Clay Villa plantation just after three, and Endura stood and swept his right arm from his left ear to a point arm's length away from his right hip as greeting to his returning passengers. As promised, I have returned, he declared, his snaggletooth grin illuminating his face. And we thank you for this, Phil replies, nodding his head in affirmation of Endura's theatrical bow. Hour and fifteen minutes, huh? Kelsey asks as she enters behind Courtney. Conditions must have improved some. Indeed, yes. The waters are receding and local jurisdictions have made some inroads towards improving our roads, Endura says with a bow. Word play in a non-native tongue, Joe acknowledges with a nod. Very impressive. Thank you, Endura laughs. There are quite a few languages spoken in Ethiopia and the Amharic predominates in Addis Ababa. It is nearly impossible not to pick up an odd phrase or two. It is very interesting what translates directly and what is more, what shall we say, poetic? Idiomatic, more likely, Joe replies, waiting for Misty to slip into the first bench seat on the passenger side before following suit. Things that don't mean what they appear to. Hey, A-Stain, he says to Justin as his brother boards the minibus. What's up? Justin pauses, brings the corner of his mouth down, and replies, the air, with a German accent. How do we get on A-Stain? Idiris just played some high-level English wordplay, that's all, Joe responds. Pretty good for a guy who's only been speaking English how long? Learning or speaking. Knowing some phrases was beneficial back home, but here English is a must. I have learned more English in the last three years than I did in the preceding 18. Immersion is what my English teacher calls it. A very appropriate name as knowing English makes a difference between being able to swim and sinking. I have met people who speak Arabic, but never anyone who speaks Amharic. Does that make you feel, I don't know, Kelsey asks, isolated, I suppose? Lonely? It did, Idurus replies, his head bobbing in ferocious nods. Many times I wished I had never left home, but as time passed, I came to realize I made the correct decision. Oh, I almost forgot. The distinguished tribal elders that got on the bus at the airport last time, the older couple who kindly spoke for me when the one passenger was displeased with the ring road tour, I just dropped them off at Wingate Estates. They got the road reopened. They asked that I pass along greetings to you should I see you again. Oh, Mr. Reply, Cheryl and Ron, how cool. We'll have to keep our eyes open for them. Would you please return their greeting when you pick them up? Ah, Idiris replies, closing the minibus door and putting the bus in gear. I would, but this is my last run of the day. Another driver will take over for me when I return to the Hyatt. And speaking of the Hyatt, let us return. 10-4, Corregidor, Joe says with a smirk, adding, Make it so, number one, in a Jean-Luc Picard imitation.